Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. These are my French beauty series on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to create easy everyday summer makeup. Look, I'm in the mood for coral shades today and have uh, one of my favorite tops. I think that coral is the perfect shade for the summer season. This kind of a coral peachy orangey colors. This is almost like the red of the summer season and it looks so beautiful and flattering um, during the summer season. So this is what I'm going to be doing today. The look is going to be very easy, very quick, um, just everyday summer makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you enjoy beauty talks, take a moment to subscribe. I would love to welcome you to our beauty community. Before I start creating the makeup look, I wanted to take a moment to say a huge thank you, a very special thank you to everyone who is a regular viewer to my channel. I know how precious time is and when you choose to watch my videos, I know that you're giving me some of your free time and this means so much to me, choosing to spend some time with me it means the world to me, so thank you so much to everyone who is a regular viewer to my channel. Also, I wanted to take a moment to say a very special thank you to everyone who is using the thanks button. I see you, I notice you, and I wanted to acknowledge and thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. And I'm probably going to write just some names right here and I apologize if I missed anyone. So thank you so much for everything. Now let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to take my hair back and the product that I'm going to be using today is one of my favorite summer makeup products and this is the Dior Dream Skin Cushion Foundation. I love this one because it has SPF 50 and I love to layer the SPF um, in the summer months. I like to use it with a dry sponge. Okay, it looks quite dark here, but it's actually very pale. I'm using the shade 010 and probably in the summer I'm going to need to use 20. So once the sponge of your cushion foundations becomes dry, you can just turn it like that upside down Oops. And um, and use the other product as well. Okay, it's a little bit messy with the fingers, but um, anyways. If you want, you can go ahead and apply this product with fingers, gently tapping it into the skin, or for a quicker application, I usually like to use a dry sponge and just apply this one all over my face. It's also very convenient for reapplying during the day. One of my favorites for the summer months. Now it's very strange because I also like to use the Chanel CC cream with the SPF 50, but we don't have it in Europe. Some For some reason it's sold out and I don't know if they are planning to reformulate it or they just have problems with the supply. Okay, and I'm not using concealer, I'm just applying the cushion foundation also here under my eyes because it gives additional protection. So it's all in one product for me. And this is the shade 010. I can still get away with the shade 010, but I'm, I'm thinking that probably I'm going to need soon to get the deeper shade, probably 020. And moving on to powder, I'm using the Westman Atelier powder. I love this powder and I'm going to use it only on the center of my face. Now, if you have dry skin, you may not need to use powder, but I have combination skin and the weather is quite hot, humid, and that's why I'm applying powder. But when I wear this cushion foundation in the winter time, I actually don't need to apply powder. Moving on to brows, I don't like to do a lot for my brows in the summer months, but I'm lightly filling them in. And then I'm going to use a setting gel from Sigma. And if I'm in a hurry, honestly, I'm going to skip the filling in part. I'm just going to apply a little bit of brow wax and that's going to be it. And then moving on to my favorite part and this is the blush. Now this blush is my favorite for the summer months. It is Blushing by Kiara Weiss. I'm going to show you the color. It looks quite intense. It's this beautiful, almost like it's a pinkish coral shade with little 
golden reflective particles, but these are not detectable. It's a very interesting shade. It's a very, very beautiful shade. And I think that this is the color that works so beautifully for the summer months and it works with um, on a lot of different skin tones, even for fair skin tone like mine, but it's a gorgeous, like almost like a pinkish coral shade. It's a little bit of a mixture. It's interesting color. And I like to apply this with my fingertips usually. You can apply this with a brush if you want to. I'm gonna use a brush as well. It brings a lot of it brings a lot of freshness to the face, but if you have pale skin tone like mine, just make sure that you're light-handed here. And you literally do not need highlighter when you're using this blush, so it doubles as a highlighter as well. Okay, so there is no shimmer here. There's only a little bit of sheen, and I like to apply a little bit on my nose as well, just to give myself um, like a sun-kissed look. This is right where the sun is going to hit you. Okay, so you can probably see the highlight as I tilt my head. This is what I love about this blush. It just gives you this very healthy looking skin and almost like lit from within glow and you don't need to use a highlighter. So I'm all about multitasking products. You can apply this one on the eyelids as well. But I'm going to use a different product. For eyes again, I'm gonna be using a cream eyeshadow from Kiara Weiss. I'm going to write the name of the cream eyeshadow because I'm not really sure. And this is one of my favorite colors for the summer season. It just gives me a light sheen on the eyelids. And it only takes a few seconds to apply. You can apply with a brush if you want, um, but when I'm in a hurry, I prefer to use my fingers. Then I'm going to be using this sparkly golden shade. This is from Chanel's Le Beige eyeshadow palette, and I'm using it only in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm roughly applying this with my finger, only in the inner corner of my eye and dragging the color. This is just to bring a little bit of summer to my eyelids and a little bit of sparkle. It looks beautiful in the sunshine. And moving on to my favorite coal eyeliner. This one is from Chanel. I'm only using it on the outer part of my upper lash line and then I'm going to smudge it either with the little brush that comes with the eyeliner or I'm just going to tap with my finger. The idea here is not to have an eyeliner but just to create the illusion that I have thicker lashes. The whole idea here is to have a little bit more intense color on the eyelids. It happens very quickly. It only takes me a few seconds to do so. I don't do a flick. I don't do anything complicated. Next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to apply mascara. And then for lips I'm using one of my favorite summer colors. This is from Chanel. It's the Rouge Coco Bloom in number 122 Zenith. And then I have one final touch that always brings me so much joy. I have been loving this new, this is a body cream from Dior. This is the Miss Dior. I'm gonna show you actually, it's a very happy pink color and it's a gel texture. It's very nice, very refreshing for the summer season. Look at this pink color. It has little shimmery particles that are not visible on the skin. Probably when you go out in the sunshine, it gives a very light, very subtle, sheen to the skin but not really shimmer and I like to apply a little bit on my arms and it has the scent of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is the fragrance that I'm going to be wearing today. This is one of my most favorite fragrances for the summer season and what I love about this body lotion is that first of all it smells like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet which is my favorite fragrance. It can be paired with any perfume of the Miss Dior line. It's going to work beautifully, but I find that it definitely smells the most like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, which is my favorite version of Miss Dior. And also something that I love is that I, sometimes I don't even spray the perfume. I'm just going to apply this one all over my arms and a little bit in my legs. A little goes a long way. It's beautiful. And this gel-like texture, it doesn't make the skin greasy. It doesn't make the skin oily, which is great. It feels very refreshing for the summer months. I have been loving this one. And I'm actually thinking of ordering another one because this is limited edition, unfortunately. As for 
Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's one of my all-time favorite perfumes. I don't even remember how many times I have been repurchasing this perfume. It's just like spring in a bottle. It's like a flower bouquet, beautiful flower bouquet. So that is going to be my finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me. At the end of this video, I have a few tips that I wanted to share with you for a beautiful summer makeup look. Now, number one is going to be do not skip the SPF. Make sure that you have a sunscreen that you like, that you enjoy using and make sure that you are using a dedicated SPF under your foundation. For foundations, I really like products that have additional SPF. Even though I use a dedicated SPF, I also like to use a product on top that has um, sunscreen. And the Dior Cushion Foundation is one of my favorites. I also like Chanel's CC Cream, which has SPF 50, but right now it's sold out in Europe. I'm not sure if they have a problem with the supply or if they are going to be reformulating it. It's also a beautiful product that protects the skin and I like to layer this one on top of SPF. The next tip that I have for you is try to wear coral or peachy shades or a little bit more orangey red colors in the summer season because they look beautiful. I think that this is the season to wear coral, all, all kinds of coral colors and this um, bright colors, do not be afraid to wear them if you have fair skin tone like mine. I think that this one in particular is going to be suitable for a lot of skin tones. The key here here is to be light-handed when you use bright colors, but they really help to give you this very healthy looking sun-kissed look without looking heavy and without looking bronzy. As you can see, I did not use a bronzer here in this video. And sometimes you don't need to use bronzer. Who needs to apply bronzer and a blush and a highlighter? Something like this is a, almost like a multitasker. You can see probably as I tilt my head, it looks as if I'm wearing a um, highlighter. And this kind of product is great because it gives you color to the cheeks and it gives exactly like a sun-kissed color to the cheeks but also it gives you this lit from within glow that is very hard to achieve you are going to need more blending when with this one is like a two-in-a-one product and that's why i love it and then for lips again do not be afraid to experiment a little bit i think that coral is the new red when it comes to the summer season coral is so beautiful and my favorite shade in particular is going to be Zenit. Uh, this is the one that I have repurchased from Chanel because it is not your typical, I don't like orange colors. They don't look good on my skin tone for some reason. I have neutral undertones, but still the orange orange lipsticks, the orangey red lipsticks, I somehow shy away from these. But this one is, if you're like me, this one is a great option because it's a combination of peach and pink and it's wonderful. Like this couldn't get any better and it's very sophisticated and works on a lot of different skin tones and you can apply this one straight from the bullet or just um, smudge it a little bit with your fingers. I prefer to smudge it a little bit because these are quite oily and they are very moisturizing. So these were my tips for the summer months. Make sure to enjoy. Let me know what are you planning to do this summer? Are you planning um, some exciting trip? I would love to know. I can't wait to catch up with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me, for watching French for a day. It means so much to me and until next time, a bientôt.